Hi there everybody, this is the race engineer. Previously on my channel I uploaded a exploded view of uh, a McPherson suspension. In this video I'm starting a series of uh, videos that will eventually show you the entire modeling process of the different components of the suspension as you can see in this video. So first of all in this video I'm going to be showing you the different components so the first one is the wheel set that contains the tire and the wheel then we have a the knuckle or spindle as we say it the control arm and the uh, upper mounts as well as the damper and the shock absorber itself this project is basically designed uh, on the different uh, mounting points that have been already uh, assigned in this project. As we can see we have the upper mount, the A position, the position for the lower ball joint, the two positions to the chassis connection and D is the uh, contact point for the wheel and the road surface. The different positions were given as a table so we can see we have the different x y and z coordinates so you basically begin by defining these points in the form of a part which is called the chassis so we start by a single origin from that point onwards we define the different points for the chassis connection the interaction of the tire and the road surface, the center of the wheel, the upper mounting point. This will basically help us when we uh, mate the different components in the assembly. The first part is basically the tire. It is made up of a section. This is the section of the rim. This is basically the section of the rim that has to be revolved around the center wheel axis. It has different uh, angles which, can, which you can basically choose as per your requirement. These points are where the tire will settle um, on these ribs. The other part is the lower arm which contains the two positions for the bushes and the one position for the ball joint that connects to the spindle. This basically can move. This is because this is a six degrees of freedom connection point. This is the hub carrier or the hub subassembly, which contains the brake disc, the spindle itself, the axle joint, the boot, and the positions for the ball joint that connects to the lower arm and the two position two bolt joints which connect to the damper subassembly. The damper subassembly is basically consisting of the damper itself, the spring, the upper and the lower uh, seatings for the springs and uh, the boot of course if you want and the connection points for the bolts that connect to the spindle so that is basically all for the suspension you can see section view right here that basically shows you the different components that run inside this is the main axle this is the ball this is the ball bearing which is a double axis ball bearing to control the thrust. This is the spindle and uh, the stud basically goes through. This is the CV joint. This is the stud, I'm sorry, and this is the CV joint. And these are the lug bolts, uh, which in uh, other countries than Europe have the stud instead of the lug bolts. This is the brake disc. As you can also see, there is a slight uh, curve 
in this brake disc to accommodate the thermal expansion during braking. So this is basically it. Uh, in the next video I'm going to be showing you the different modeling process for each component. So keep watching for the next video in the playlist. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.